Good morning, it's Monday. Hello everyone, back back to work. We're uh, looking at the Travel Lodge, Manchester Central. We're stood right in the middle of a very wide double bike lane. Goes up that way and down that way. And unlike Holland, unlike the Netherlands, you'll never see any bikes using bike lanes. Um, ignore that one using the bike lane on the other side because he goes against my argument, but usually you'll just find the cyclists on the pavements um, threatening grannies with hip replacements. From a distance, it looks like the Kazakhstan flag, but it's actually the Manchester walking tour. Imagine needing a tour guide to go for a walk. I'm sure she tells them all sorts of exciting things, though, so... Might be good. It's nice. I've just bumped into Rob the American, who taught me some cool tricks. Hello, mate. How are you? How about YouTube shorts? What are you guys? What are you guys? What are you I was asking you fucking eat that fight, mate. I love your Irish accent. I've always loved your Irish accent. I've you fight my friend, didn't I? Well, you know what? If I'm fighting someone, they... What do you want to call him? Turbo. Turbo. Oh, Crutchy. Can I ask? Is Crutchy, is he dead or is he in jail? He's in jail. I only see him laughing. Is he in jail? No, I only see him laughing. Oh, is he alive? He's still going. I see him laughing. I see him laughing. I see you walking away. I won't say no to you. Well, I've got two things. Top of the morning to you. Shake my hand. I better go. All the best, man. Take care. See you, guys. As I was saying, Rob the American gave me some new tricks to use on my YouTube shorts. So thank you, Rob the American. The pupil becomes the teacher. Photon man reveal. Where is he? Wait, here's the clue. Oh, there he is. Here we go, photon man. Let's do a slow zoom in. Autofocus, Panasonic. It's your time to shine. Or, uh, eh. oh, here we go, here we go. There we go. Fixing the fountains. Excuse me, you can't film that. <laughs> okay, welcome back to Cottagers Cove. I think we got a good haul of uh, young men today, and maybe older men too. As a canal and river trust, you can see. Oh, there's quite a few men hanging down Cottagers Cove today. Hello, boys. How's it going? Oh, wait, wait. What's wrong? It's a public hangout. Who wants to hang out with me? Hey, maybe you can hang out with me, sir. Let's hang out together. It's a public place. Wait, maybe they want to hang out. Let's all hang out together. It's a place to hang out. It's a place for men who prefer the company of men. Who doesn't? Women are annoying, aren't they? <laughs> public lewd acts are illegal in public, guys. Oh, wait. My aperture was wide and loose. We're just looking into the modern art at Selfridges and I'm uh, just explaining to my friend here that they don't sell fridges. He, um, he was looking for some large cuboid refrigeration devices and I said, no, Selfridges don't sell fridges. Sorry, mate. Just looking into Admiral, they've got the big uh, airline seats there. And <laughs> it's like the Wally -E seats, you know, the big fat guys on that spaceship in Wall E, except uh, even more dystopian. Oh, gee, man made horrors beyond my comprehension. There at the in front here, you've got Transport for Greater Manchester having a meeting. I almost missed them, I didn't see them in their uh, fluorescent uh, hardy hardy heart. Anyway, this is just a bit of street photography, nothing, nothing that interesting. Another group of them that I almost didn't see again in front of the former Union Bank of Manchester. I reckon bus drivers, ticket inspectors, they have to have a big meeting to get themselves psyched up because uh, it's such a dangerous, look at that. Patrolling police, such a dangerous retail environment here in the cracky land, isn't it? Nice Polestar! Nice motor, that. It is a nice motor. I've been driving it for the last two weeks. You've been driving one, have you? Yeah, rented, of course, but it's a yeah, nice car. All right. I'm with a fellow YouTuber, Absolute Audits. There was another YouTuber in town. Have you heard of him? Ryan Rampage. Um, we were looking for him, and he invited me out to film. Well, Ryan, if you see this, we're still looking for you, man. But uh, we're on the reconnaissance bus, the number one bus through central Manchester. We're on the cracky patrol. Um, we've just passed uh, Avdivka. We're going back towards Mariupol. The uh, Soviets have got rain. They've won a Pyrrhic victory here at Avdivka. I'm going to stop talking now. We're passing the Peveril of the Peak, made of nice shiny tiles. Easier to wipe off all the blood and vomit. Looking at the back of Deansgate Castlefield train station. 
And that is the formerly tallest hotel in Manchester, the Hilton. Now it's only the fourth tallest. You know all those 1930s buildings from the Art Deco period in America? Uh, Empire State, Chrysler Building. Okay, I've run out of examples, but they had a bit of character. Now every major city in the world is turning the skyline into dull gray, dull gray cuboids. It's Schrodinger's corpse in front of the Fremen of uh, June. Jack Villeneuve's really proven himself as an incredible director, even if he's made the worm, the giant worm, look like uh, a puckered anus. Hey guys, check out this reveal under the Victorian Tower. We're going towards the Hacienda and all that. But I just want to show you those four big cuboids again as they appear. And in the foreground, some very uninspired red brick early 2000s bullshit. Wait, human being for context. And uh, arty farty with some big underwear. And it's a be gamble aware. So that advert is uh, warning you to know when you're, you should stop gambling. Viewers, welcome to the future, the Gattaca sterile Shenzhen industrial area future, except it's home and it's Manchester. Behind me are the Hacienda apartments. The Hacienda nightclub has been turned into flats, of course. And it's featured many times on the old channel, but uh, my YouTuber friend hasn't seen it. The big Soviet statue of Friedrich Engels. Uh oh, these better not be communism enthusiasts. Are they Chinese? Wait, take photo, take photo. Friedrich Engels. <laughs> he uh, told the working man how to live, even though his daddy gave him all his money. Never worked a day in a factory. Yeah, he knew all about those struggles. Hello, hello, hi, hi. Hello. Where are you guys from? China. China, hello. Do you like uh, Friedrich Engels? Yeah. Is he a good man? Yeah. But you guys are not communist anymore, are you? In China? Uh, I think only three of us. Uh, no, but you're, you're a fully capitalist country now. Oh, yeah. Good man, you like money. Money, good. He, he doesn't like money. He's a bad man. <laughs> money is good. Okay. Thank you. Take care. So uh, there you go, guys. On the surface of it. On the absolute surface of it. The Chinese have to say that they like uh, Frederick Engels because obviously the ruling party is the Chinese Communist Party. But when you press a little bit further, everyone likes the shekels. The name Tony Wilson might mean something to the Mancunians or to people who are fans of the movie 24-hour party people with Steve Coogan playing Tony Wilson. But Tony Wilson was the owner, manager, all-round charismatic leader of the Hacienda nightclub and that whole music scene back in the 80s and early 90s, maybe? I've filmed in this exact position before and I've always liked that metal yellow side of a car park behind it. Hope it's coming out okay in these settings. Wild shot of a random YouTuber in the wild. A pre yeah, <laughs> royalties are coming. They're pulling down the glass penis tower. That wasn't like that a second ago. I was just telling Jack that it looks like that thing. We were just talking about that. Man, I can't believe I missed the first uh, circumcision of the, pe the pe <laughs> penis tower. God damn it. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll keep an eye on it. As soon as I stop filming, something terribly big and... Oh! Oh! Alrighty then! Hello, health and safety. I've got something to report. Hehehe! <laughs> Oh! 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 Here we go. 
Here we go. Nice. <laughs> it's funny, just before this started, it was fully intact. It still had its, uh, its uh, foreskin. And uh, I said to Jack, it looks like that memorial in Hiroshima. Hiroshima, after the atomic bomb fell. And he was like, yeah. And then um, I'm filming outside one Tony Wilson's place. A, a viewer of mine goes, Charlie, have you seen that? Turn around. And I was like, oh, here we go. I reckon the next drag will be a good one. Yeah, he has a radio, radio man, he's gonna authorize it. He goes, yep. He's like, he, there's Larry Silverstein. He says, pull it. WTC seven. Go on, Larry, what do we say? Larry says, pull it. Oh, thank you very much, okay. Nah, we'll be okay. We'll be all right. If you've not, if you've not cordoned it off, we're okay. It's all right. It's okay. Go on. No worries. I don't know. If it was that dangerous, you guys would have shut the road down. Get ready to run if it falls on us. Oh shit. It's a good bit of glass. Oh, that's better. That's a much better shot. Thank you, Smith. <laughs> Look at that. Much better angle. He is stuck. His arm is stuck on one bit. All right, it begins again. Pull it. Come on, Larry. You've got the fireman out. Pull it. Pull it. Come on, crane man. As soon as I stop filming, I'll do it. I can see why the two orange fluorescent guys are so keen to keep people off the road. If that gets pulled off there, see this wall here? That's gonna fall onto the road and whoever is underneath there will not be going home to their wife and kids. I don't think they thought this one through. I reckon uh, this is as bad as it's gonna get. I reckon the older experienced fellas, they're like, they're like, uh, we haven't, uh, closed enough of the area yet. For example, watch this. I'm ready to run. Are you ready to run, Jack? You can see the whole building shaking. This whole site feels about as secure as Eastern Ukraine right now. I don't like the look of that wall. You are now watching the Destruction Channel on the Charlie Beach Network. Here we go. You can see how strong that rebar is, that reinforced steel concrete type stuff. Oof. Have to get it. We have to get it. It's destruction. That's what the viewers need. With men. With get, and surely, the way I see it, if it was that dangerous, you guys would have cordoned it off. Well, we have. But you've not. It's public street. <laughs> but, but can I just say, that wall, though, 
That's going to fall down on someone on the street. It could do. Nah, it can't. I so said, you're joking with me. That's it. <laughs> no, they're not going to be happy for these two. <laughs> as long as you out the way. Are you out of the way? Uh, we're out of the way. We're out of the way. <laughs> ah. Oh, we're get uh, nice ponytail. Anyway, he's got better hair than I do. That uh, temptation to run up through the rubble and slap the back of the tank. But, uh, yeah. All right, I think he's going for a supporting, oh no, he's going for the staircase in the middle. He's got the spiral staircase. Go on, Larry, don't be shy, pull it. Pull it, Larry. <laughs> oh, because people walking past. Ah, oh, thank you. That's why he keeps, thank you, the gentleman off camera. Here comes the staircase. He wants the staircase down. Oh, he missed there. Nice. <laughs> right, viewing platforms coming. Here comes a viewing platform. Wow, here we go. Yes, yes! That was the shot we were looking for. <laughs> ah, a bit of broken glass and rubble on the street there. Why not? Broken glass again. I've been zoomed in now. Go on, Maddie. How are you, man? Yeah, oh, good. Good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Look at his audience. He's got a good one. Yeah. Woo! I've been delivering from a whoop trip. I got my family, friends, and colleagues, and people that I know that I roll with. Here we go. But I'm the king of my own little castle. And by the Hi, my name is Lucas, and you're watching the Charlie Beak Show. Thanks, Lucas. Yay. I like the nice grey. It's sexy. That's a sexy grey. You're right. <laughs> Come on guys, it's time for a cottage. I know the cleanest public toilet in Manchester, it's in the Exchange Theatre. Hey guys. <laughs> cottaging time. Come on guys. Look at my cottaging crew, look at this. <laughs> Alright, welcome to Aldi. We've got hair and police. It's, it's all happening. There you go, just, I'm just going shopping for some cut price uh, Mozzarella cheese, that's what I'm after today. Okay, it's definitely a troublemaker and they've been told it's gone that way. Yeah. All right, okay, wait, there's, there's a bit more movement now. Here we go, a bit more movement with intention. All right, we're uh, going back into the big mean world out there. All right, it's the best lead we've had today. Bit, bit, uh, bit slim on the content, drama content. Hope you've enjoyed the cottages. <laughs> All right, radios. Oh, here we go, reinforcements. All right, oh, you're not a tram. But that is a tram. Oh, shit. Oh, no, we've been cut off. Look at that, what an escape. Oh, there's a car over there beeping. It's all going on. Oh, no. What about in between? Oh, hey. I don't know, it's all going it's not worth the wait, wait, it's not worth it! <laughs> so 
Wait, what's the drums behind you, boys? Yo, where's the drama? Is it that way? <laughs> oh, wait. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, is it on the bus? No, it's not on the bus. Oh, watch the tram, guys. It's straight in there, isn't it? Go on, Jack. Oh, wait, here we go. There's another police van. Yeah, Jack, Jack doesn't fuck about. Jack's in there. <laughs> Jack's going for the Oscar for cinematography. Yeah, where, where's the kids? Where's the bad kids? I need to give the police a crash course on how to find drama in the city centre. Oh no! We're gonna try and disappear now. What? Yeah. No, nah, they're still looking. He's on the radio. Hey, you're right. Well, guys, it's around sunset Monday, towards the end of February. Who's counting? I want you to remind you all that it's a leap year. It's a leap year, so you got one more day of uh, earning money this month. 29th of Feb. It's a leap year, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed today's episodes. A bit of the cove, a bit of confusion around the cops not catching the kids. <laughs> a bit of confusion, and what else have we had? We had a bit of, a bit of this, a bit of that. A bit of smashy, smashy. Oh, a bit, oh, we had a bit of demolition. Thank you very much. A bit of smashy, smashy. You've got corn man. What's corn man up to? How's your corn? Children of the corn. And. Uh, you got Guitar Man doing the Beatles in the wrong city. I was doing the Beatles earlier anyway. But I'm um, filming in the hope that I can, I can collapse the quantum wave function. Collapse the wave into a particle and some drama will just happen automatically in front of me. Ryan, could you pretend to be a normie and get angry at me for filming and then attack me, please? Thanks, man. So, um... Hey, on, what are you oh no, I wasn't filming you. No, I wasn't filming you, mate. I wasn't filming you, mate. No, no, no. Hey, 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 you with a camera. 